kids. I'm thinking, oh, these, these guys know a lot better than I do. They're cool. Like, right, yeah. They're cool. Yeah. But, like, I, I'm actually in, like, the prime time of my youth absorbing toxic mindsets about people and, like, the world. What is your take on cutting people off? And, like, it's, like, it's hard because you don't want to, like, just cut someone off that you're so, like, close with, but you know that they're not necessarily good for your journey i mean if you have this awareness that you know the certain people that you might be around like that one certain individual uh, is your friend but also like might belittle the kind of ideas like your lifestyle really like about the stuff about you know energy like like in my personal experience because you know I've, I've gone through this myself and i'm at the point where i barely have any friends because if people aren't resonating on my like if they don't re really resonate with my ideas, like, I'm gonna really, like, watch how much time I spend with them. Like, it'll be a lot less time. Like, I will not make sure that I'm spending all my time with the people who do not resonate with the ideas that I know are gonna be uplifting me. If they just see that kind of stuff as whack or weird, then I'm just going to... And, you know, if I do, like, really love spending time with them, then, you know, we'll hang out once in a while, but, like, I'm not going to be spending every day. I'm not going to be spending all the time with this person because I know that's kind of like disrespecting myself. Like, I this is like if these are my my ideas, my more or like um, things that I live by, and this certain friend just does not, just living in this whole different realm of disbelief. Then, right, right, we, right. then for it, sure. it's just. It's not gonna, it's not gonna be serving myself then, you know? Yeah. So, if, you know, yeah, it you, sucks, man. yeah, dude, like, when you grow up, you start, or like, when you go through your spiritual awakening, you realize, like, damn, like, a lot of people just, they just won't understand. They just won't understand, and. It's insane, dude, because with us, it's like, we've already had it, so it's like second nature to us. In all of these concepts, I intuitively, like, I understand it. Like, it's not rocket science. It's not hard. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Like, you can tell someone about meditation and scratch their head. Like, like yeah. Well, this is a divine creation. Like, I mean, people laugh at you. Like, when you say, oh, I want to get out of nature. Like, I'm so used to people, like, just kind of thinking that's cringe or whatever and and all that says to me is damn I really like like I was not respecting myself like with letting like like you know damn you you have people that don't like that yeah so you you have people who actually don't like understand that like I, I can't I'm so like I've cut off so many people like where people just I don't know. I, I don't get that many, like, objections anymore because I literally have, like, almost no friends. <laughs> because I literally just, Same like, well, here, dude. Yeah. Same. Bro. I just I can't, bro. Everyone off, but I still got, like, a good, like, three or four people. I have this community called the Life Force, and we had a lot of meetings. And this was a, this was a thing we talked about, actually, many times, and it was interesting because one of our members, like, he would, he would say how, like, he actually... Cause he had a really tough time with this too like all of us really did because no one really not many people understand us like going through this kind of right. spiritual experience and so he would like try to teach this kind of stuff to some of his friends and he was at, it was actually kind of cool because one of his friends was actually starting to really pick up on it and really get interested and intrigued and like actually like became like uh really understanding so that was really cool to hear actually um Yeah, like, yeah. I'm crazy in that sense, but like I'm not like crazy, you know. Like I feel like we're yeah, all kind of yeah. like crazy. 
Yeah, dude, like, I, I, for the first, like, I think about the first year, maybe almost two years of my, like, spiritual transformation, all of my energy went towards trying to wake people up and try to change people's minds. Yeah. When I hadn't even fully awakened yet, I thought I did, but, um, like, now I find myself getting caught in, like, instant gratification and dopamine and, Mm -hmm. like, listening to, like, background music just because it feels good, like all this stuff right which isn't inherently bad i don't think like I, I don't think porn is some kind of giant like succubus demon like i don't think that i think uh i think yeah. it's not healthy right. uh, it can have that effect on <laughs> sure. yeah yeah um who, shit, who knows maybe it isn't demon thing. <laughs> yeah right like we don't even know we don't, we don't even know <laughs> Right, and that's the thing bro that's that's what i was saying like when i make a duet it's like bro like some of this stuff could be really true it's like i might not believe it a thousand percent but at least like i'm getting myself thinking getting others thinking you know what i mean yeah i mean we don't know what the hell's going on behind the scenes we only perceive one percent exactly it's not that Uh, obvious like shit 